it's a lot of money, but I guess I'll go ahead and do it. You see, I didn't know anything about what I was doing. Hey, everybody. Scavenger Steve back here with you. And I've got a little story for you today. It has to do with buyer beware. You sometimes can be overcharged. And this little story has to do with me getting greatly overcharged and how, uh, how well, that's through the learning of, of um, the School of Hard Knocks, right? So I got greatly overcharged and, and this story has to do with how I turned that back around. So, so this item that I'm about to tell you about cost me almost nothing now compared to really getting ripped off big time a few years back. So to cut to the chase here, I'm standing at 202 North 2nd Avenue. It's where my office is, and it's also an apartment complex known as Crestview Apartments. And this little story has to do with these heaters and air conditioners. So there we are. And uh, I got uh, into hotels and motels a few years back, and I never had to deal with this type of heater or air conditioner until then. And then I realized that all over the world, hotels, motels, and apartment complexes have this exact same size model. All right, so anyway, so I'm in one of the commons areas here, by the way. It's really a fabulous property. I got a really good buy on it. That'll be another Scavenger Steve video for you set sometime in the future. So I was cleaning out a drawer yesterday, and I ran across this. This is a bill. I, uh, just a year or so, I've owned this about six years, so I had it about a year and a half or two, and then I had to start replacing these uh, wall unit heaters and air conditioners that I've been telling you about. And so this is a receipt that I found in a drawer yesterday, and uh, look at how much the guy charged me there. $1,350 for just for the unit, $300 for the installation, $94.50 for tax, and the overall bill was $1,744.50. You see that? Take a second look. There you go. All right. So even at that time, and I said to him, you know, is, is this, a, is, that sounds a little pricey. Well, he said, he said, I don't make any money on them. I just get them and I just, I charge $300 labor to install. And I said, well, he sounded so believable. And I said, well, wow, well, it's a lot of money, but... I guess I'll go ahead and do it. You see, I didn't know anything about what I was doing. So anyway, I have another little picture to show you. This is me with my mask on. This is COVID-19. Hopefully it'll be behind us one of these days soon. And those are air conditioners there in the background. And I'm at a La Quinta hotel in Des Moines. And they called me out of the blue and they said we had a lightning strike and we have about 30 air conditioners. We'll sell them to you. They only need to have their motherboard replaced and we'll sell them to you for $50 a piece. One of my helpers in Des Moines changes those motherboards for in just a, a couple of minutes. And he doesn't charge me anything because he's on a weekly wage, right? And he installs them for me just, just, just in a heartbeat. And so I'm thinking the motherboards cost around $100. I'm paying $50 a piece for these. They're only one year old. So roughly $150, and this is like four or five years later that I paid what I just showed you there, $1,744.50. So when you take the, you go through the school of hard knocks and you take that big wapo right in the face and you realize you've been taken advantage of. The guy sounded very believable. I didn't know what I was doing. All my other apartment complexes didn't have this style of heater. Little did I realize at the time that, as I just said a while ago, all over the world, all the hotels and motels and many apartment complexes have this exact same type of heater. It's the same measurement left to right, up, up to down, uh, the exact same measurement, and so on. So anyway, this is a little story about uh, buyer beware, and uh, it helped me to become even that much stronger of a scavenger. So I ratcheted that set $1,744.50 downwardly to only $150 many, many, many years later. So I hope you learned something from that. As I said, buyer beware. Call around and, and uh, educate yourself as much as you can before you hire someone. But I was in dire straits at that time and I took the first guy that came along and I was an experienced businessman but I was in a new venture. It was the first time I'd ever tried to buy one of those types of heaters and air conditioners. 
So I hope you're able to learn a little bit from that. I always have fun making these. And uh, so I will wish you a wonderful day and encourage you to go seize the day and scavenge your way and give me a like and be sure to subscribe if you aren't a subscriber already. Take good care now. Bye-bye.